Meetings are a part of work life. A Microsoft Teams meeting provides a place for conversation before, during, and after a meeting. But not all meeting participants are equal. Here are three things you need to know about Microsoft Teams meeting chat when organizing and participating in a meeting. When you invite members of your organization to a Teams meeting, they will be able to fully participate in meeting chat. They received the original meeting invite. They were invited as required or optional for the meeting. They can join the chat before the meeting. They can chat during the meeting. They can continue to participate in chat after the meeting. If they didn't attend the meeting, they can still participate in its chat as it continues after the meeting. When using a distribution group to invite people from your organization, consider expanding the group. If a distribution group has more than 150 members, they will only be able to access chat during the meeting. When you expand the group in the invite, it adds each of the group members to the meeting invite. Then they will have full access to the meeting chat. Sometimes meeting invites are extended to people who didn't receive the original invite. When a meeting is forwarded to a member of your organization, they too can chat before, during, and after a meeting. Guests must join a meeting to participate in chat. Guests are people who are not members of your organization. When guests are invited to a Teams meeting, they cannot join the chat before the meeting. They must join the meeting when it begins to participate in meeting chat. Some team meetings use a lobby before the meeting begins. Guests must be let in from the lobby before they can join the meeting chat. Once they have joined the chat, guests can participate in chat after the meeting. But if a guest doesn't join the meeting, they won't be able to participate in chat after the meeting. Some people join without a meeting invite addressed to them by a shared link or by being added to a meeting that has already started. These attendees have temporary access to meeting chat. Temporary access allows an attendee to access chat during a running meeting but they must join the meeting. After leaving the meeting, they cannot participate in or read any continued chat. If you join a meeting using a link, like joining a webinar or large format meeting, you will have temporary access to the chat. If you add a person to a running Teams meeting, they will have temporary access to the chat. They can see questions and resources posted in the chat. But after they leave the meeting, they cannot participate in or read continued chat. These three principles cover most scenarios for accessing meeting chat. As a meeting organizer, consider who you are inviting to a meeting and if you want them to have full or temporary participation in meeting chat.